we have another brand new AI native device to talk about today. This is fresh off the heels of the AI pin getting absolutely destroyed in the product reviews just last week. But this one is really compelling because of its form factor, because of the people who are behind it, and most of all, because of the price. So we're gonna watch the launch video today together and I'm gonna talk about it while we watch it. So let's go. So the device we're talking about today is called Limitless, Limitless AI, and it's by the team behind Rewind AI. And if you haven't seen Rewind AI, I'll show it to you after this video. But the gist is, it's something you install on your computer and it literally records everything you do but it's completely local it doesn't send anything off to the cloud so it is really secure and private and now they're taking their learnings from rewind ai and are launching the limitless ai device and not only that they're actually rebranding their entire company limitless ai so they're completely behind this device now all right let's watch the video i've got something really exciting to show you allow me to introduce you to the limitless pendant Okay, every single product launch now is basically just a copy of Apple's product launches. They have defined an entire generation of product launch videos. And I mean, look at this. This is exactly what every Apple device looks like when they launch, but that's okay. It looks good. Today we're introducing Limitless. It is a web app, a Mac app, a Windows app, and a wearable. Limitless is a personalized AI powered by what you've seen, said, or heard. Limitless augments, not replaces, human intelligence with artificial intelligence. All right, so right away, the form factor is it's recording all the time. And that was something that really worried me, especially with Rewind and other AI devices like the AI pin. And I know they have a lot of privacy and security built into it, but Limitless actually does a couple things really unique that I'm excited about. So let's keep watching and you'll see. But if you're not comfortable with something recording you all day long, this device is definitely not gonna be for you. To overcome the brain's limitations, specifically our memory and our focus. Our brains are bombarded with notifications and information. Multitasking is a myth. We can only really do one thing at a time. I'm in back-to-back -back meetings and I wanna be 100% focused on the person I'm meeting with. Taking notes, tracking action items, and preparing for the next meeting all prevent me from connecting with a person right in front of me. Limitless automates all of this for you and more. It integrates seamlessly with all the technology you already use. Again, it's a web app, a Mac app, a Windows app, and a wearable. Let me show you. This is the Limitless web app. What you're looking at is the actual prep Limitless created to help prepare me to make this announcement video. It uses the context of my past, summarizes it, and gives me super helpful tips at a glance. Okay, before I continue, I wanna actually talk about what Rewind AI is for a second. So let's take a look. Rewind AI is the same company, and what it does is it's really kind of a memory AI product. You install it on your computers, all of your devices, and it records everything you do. So if you take notes and forget about them, if you have a call and you don't remember who it was with, you can simply query against AI and it'll tell you, it has all of this context. And the really nice thing about Rewind is that it's all stored locally. And so this is what the Rewind app looks like. And right here, it says Rewind compresses, transcribes, encrypts, and stores all of your data locally so you have access. So that's a really nice thing, but it is also very limiting because it's limited based on the power of your computer and it can't run high-end models for that reason. And I actually haven't used Rewind AI myself, but from everything that I've seen about it, 
it's really for work use cases mostly. Even all of the examples that it gives. So automating note taking, meeting summaries, lost work, find details, draft emails, summarize, etc. So these are mostly work use cases. But I think what they're trying to do with Limitless is transition into the more everything use case, but starting with consumer focused. All right, let's keep watching. It reminds me that my co-founder Brett previously provided feedback on presentation style, emphasizing the importance of making eye contact with the camera, occasional blinking, not talking too fast, and being oneself unless it involves bad puns and silly accents. Thanks, Brett. I'll try to avoid bad puns. Bad puns are a punishment I wouldn't wish on anyone. I saw a really interesting post on X that pointed out why this launch is kind of unique and really better than the ones we've seen. It's much more casual, much more low key, and it has hints of humor in it. It's not some promising the world, this is gonna change everything pitch. This is very much, here are the use cases you're gonna get from it. Here's what you can expect. Here's the price and a little bit of humor. So it's really a different look and feel than previous AI hardware launches. This is a great example of how a personalized AI powered by what you've seen, said, or heard can take things off your plate. Next, let's look at the real-time transcript. Here, everything I've said was recorded and transcribed by Limitless. There's a lot to read here, and when you're in the middle of a meeting, it's tough to scan. Wouldn't it be great if this was synthesized into real-time notes? Well, that's exactly what Limitless offers. Here are real-time notes generated for me. Lastly, we generate a summary after the recording is done. I'll come back to that at the end of this video and show you what Limitless generated. Limitless is live right now. Head over to Limitless.ai and try it for yourself. Online meetings are a natural stepping stone toward real world conversations. Wouldn't it be great to get all of the benefits I just shared, but for any conversation? That's why we built the Limitless Pendant. Let's put it on. All right, so the cool thing is you can get going immediately with this. Limitless is live. I'm definitely gonna give it a try. The pendant will be coming out in a few months though. So keep that in mind as you're watching this. You can wear it as a necklace or simply attaching it to your clothes using its magnetic clasp. It is truly the world's most wearable AI. It measures only 31.9 millimeters wide and 16 millimeters thin. Despite this small form factor, it has exceptional battery life. The Limitless pendant will offer 100 hours of real world battery life. That is really good. The AI pin, which again, unfortunately, is really getting destroyed in product reviews, only apparently lasts a couple hours. And you're gonna see a theme throughout this video. All of the product failings from the AI pin are addressed in this video without actually saying AI pin, but you'll see why. 100 hours of real world battery life without needing to swap battery packs throughout the day. Okay, so he said it right there, no need to swap battery battery packs throughout the day. That is a direct dig at the AI pin. You have to constantly babysit the battery and swap out boosters and charge this thing and keep it charged multiple times per day. So that's definitely a direct reference to the AI pin. While it is recording, an LED is always visible. You can tap it to bookmark a moment or to ask your personalized AI anything. It has an array of microphones that ensure crystal clear audio quality, even in a crowded cafe. We support Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for seamless, reliable syncing, whether you have your phone with you or not. It does all of this and looks absolutely stunning. So there are some major differences between the Limitless Pendant and the AI Pen. One, the Pendant has no camera. It has no laser-guided UI that you put on your hand. It has less lights. It's basically a much more slimmed down version of the AI Pen. And I think that's what they were going for. They didn't think they needed a camera yet, and they didn't think that they needed an additional standalone user interface either. And I think the minimalist approach where they're not making you buy a standalone device, they're not making you learn a new form factor it basically just fits into your life as you're going. I think that's the right approach. Offering eight beautiful colors that will go with any outfit. Just as you wouldn't exercise without your fitness tracker, you won't want to work without your pendant. How much will the pendant cost? Just $699. That doesn't look right. Let's drop the six, just $99. That is a direct shot towards AI pin. AI pin is $700. That is a price point in which I wasn't even willing to buy it, and this is literally what I do for a living. The lower the price point, the more early adopters are going to try it and review it and provide feedback, and they'll be able to iterate at a much more rapid clip given this price point. So very excited to see this. It makes sense for me to buy one, definitely. We're proud to share that you can use the pendant without a recurring subscription. If you want unlimited AI features, 
We offer Limitless Pro, which costs $19 per month billed annually. So the Limitless Pendant doesn't require a subscription, but to get quote unquote unlimited AI features, you're going to need a Limitless Pro subscription. So really you're gonna need a subscription because nobody really wants the half-baked version of a product. But still $99, it's still a really good deal for what you're getting. And you know I already bought one because I want to try this out and for $99 it makes sense. So here is my order. Now let's talk about privacy. Today, we're also announcing a major breakthrough in ensuring your privacy and the privacy of the people you meet with, consent mode. Consent mode makes it possible for the first time ever to only capture the voice of people who have given consent to be recorded. It uses voice identification to determine who is speaking and verbal opt-in to make it frictionless to ask for consent. Let me show you how consent mode will work. Here I'm saying, hey Sam, it's great to catch up with you. Then Sam starts speaking, but because he hasn't given consent, we don't actually record it. Then I say, this meeting's really important to me and I really want to remember your advice. Are you okay if I record and transcribe our chat? He says, sure, no problem. We identify his voice and we know that because he said, sure, no problem, that is a verbal opt-in to giving consent. I say, thanks, I'll share the automatically generated notes and summary with you afterwards. It's as simple as that. That's awesome. That is really, really amazing. Basically, the device will only record the people who have consented to be recorded. Now, I don't know if that's a default or required option. You can't turn it off. I really hope it is, but that is incredible. So you could set it up if you want to record around your house. You can get your family members to opt into it. But anybody else, when you're out in the street, if you're in a store, it's only recording you. That is really cool. Now, here's something to think about though. With the plethora of AI devices that are coming out, people aren't going to know whether your device is kind of opt-in first or not. So I really hope that this becomes an industry standard and everybody can expect not to be recorded unless they opt in. I think that's a pretty optimistic view of the future, but that's what I'm hoping will happen. That's the first announcement we're making today about privacy. But what about your data? Ad-driven companies like Facebook have tried to convince the world that convenience should come at the cost of privacy. When you use Facebook, you are the product, but not with Limitless. For the first time ever, you get all of the benefits of a personalized AI without sacrificing your privacy. The inspiration for our approach came from our existing product, Rewind. Unlike Slack, Zoom, or Gmail, Rewind runs locally, so your data is safe from your employer, the software provider, and from the government. But this approach has drawbacks. It isn't as convenient. You can't access your data from any device, you have limited storage, and it's challenging to offer the best AI models. Until today. Introducing the Confidential Cloud. Limitless delivers on the same privacy guarantees as Rewind, but with the convenience of being in the cloud. Unlike the traditional cloud, your employer, us as a software provider, and the government cannot decrypt your data without your permission, even if given a subpoena to do so. Only you control decryption of your data. All right, so I really like this, but I have to say, they aren't the first to do something like this. In fact, many cloud service providers offer this as the default. It is fully encrypted. Nobody can touch it unless they have your key, unless they have your password. So this isn't anything new. This is still in the cloud, but I'll give them credit. It's very nice that they're doing this. And it makes sense because otherwise you don't get all of these features. You won't be able to access the data from any device. If everything's stored locally, it will only be available on that one device. You don't get unlimited storage because especially in a little pin that's you know the size of a quarter or so, you're not gonna have all of this storage available to you. And most of all, you can't use the best AI models because the best AI models require really beefy GPUs to run. Now, it's interesting that they don't call out specifically which models are going to power the pendant. I'm wondering if it's OpenAI's GPT models because I've seen Sam Altman referenced all over the website as somebody who gives quotes about how awesome Rewind is. They even showed him just now in the demo video. So it's gonna be interesting to see which models they use. I hope that they allow any models you want. You get to actually choose the model, but more than likely they're not gonna do that. But yeah, very cool. But the cloud-based version seems like it has to be there. And I think it would actually be nice if they gave you a local only version as well. And you can actually choose whether you send things off to the cloud or you store everything locally. I think there's a way to do it where if you're in your home and you have your computer running, it's basically synced with your computer and you're using your computer as really the backup up hardware to the AI pendant. So that's two major announcements around privacy, consent mode and confidential cloud. 
Visit Limitless.ai to learn more about how Confidential Cloud works and to give it a try for yourself. What about Rewind? We wouldn't be where we are today without our existing customers. Okay, so the reason he's addressing Rewind right now is because they're basically transitioning the entire company to back Limitless AI. This is their new consumer-facing product. Rewind AI was much more of a business-focused product, and they're even rebranding the company. So I'm sure a lot of people who really love Rewind and who use it daily are like, okay, what's going to happen? What, what happens to me? So he's addressing that right now, which I really appreciate. So all Rewind Pro subscribers get Limitless Pro for free. We are shifting our focus to Limitless because we think it's a better approach to solving the same problems. In fact, we plan to implement many of your favorite Rewind features directly in Limitless. We are so bullish on Limitless that we decided to change our company name from Rewind to Limitless. That said, we have no plans to stop supporting Rewind. Limitless, much better than Rewind as a brand name. You can even use both products side by side and decide for yourself which one you like better. Lastly, I wanna share where we plan to go from here. So the nice thing is they're still supporting Rewind. It's still going to be its own thing. They have no plans currently to take it down or deprecate it. But I have a feeling if Limitless takes off and the pendant and that whole ecosystem really does well, they're probably going to sunset Rewind eventually. We firmly believe that transparency builds trust. So we're making our roadmap public. First, here's a recap of what's available right now. Web, Mac, and Windows apps, confidential cloud, meeting prep, automated notes, and meeting summaries. So this is basically all the features that are already available through Rewind. And I haven't used it today, but I'm going to install it right after this, and I'm going to give it a try, and I'll let you know how it is. Here's what's coming soon. The pendant will ship in August. Consent mode. While the pendant won't require a phone, Limitless integrates seamlessly with all the technology you already use. So of course we'll offer native iPhone and Android apps. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. If the pendant doesn't require a phone, How's it gonna work without a phone? Does it have its own cell service? I'm gonna say probably not because then they wouldn't be able to achieve 100 hours of battery life. And you're also gonna need additional services. So I, I don't think so. I'm just not exactly sure how that's gonna work without a phone. But I'm glad they're pairing it with a phone because I think a lot of people looked at the AI pin as a completely standalone device and they were like, do I need another device? Do I need something that costs $700? And the fact that they're pairing this with iPhone, with Android, just makes a lot of sense to me. More context, that means integrating with other tools you use every day like Slack and maybe even capturing what you see on your screen, similar to how Rewind works. We'll also offer you the ability to ask Limitless anything. Now, I'm going to use a quote that MKBHD always uses, and this stands out to me right now because it says soon. Never buy a device because of future promised updates. That is something he says all the time. He just said it on his devastating review of the AI pin, and that's kind of what I'm getting right now with this. This says soon. It doesn't give any firm dates, and he did say Pendant is coming out in August, so maybe all of these come out in August. I don't know, but right now, I pre-ordered one because it's only a hundred dollars and this is what I do for a living. I want to use it. I'm excited about it, but I don't know yet if I can necessarily say you should buy it unless you're just excited about the device and you want to try it out. Don't buy it just because of what they're promising in the future. And I really believe in that. It will use the context of everything you've seen, said, or heard to offer answers only a personalized AI can offer. We plan to be HIPAA compliant so doctors can wear the pendant while seeing patients and be able to hundred percent focus on the patient and avoid spending hours doing paperwork afterwards. Limitless will create drafts of replies to your email and Slack messages exactly the way you would have written them, using the context of everything you've seen, said, or heard. All right, this is something I've been wanting for a long time. I've been thinking through how to build this myself. I want to use all of my emails as context and AI draft email replies to all of the emails that I get. It would save me so much time. Not only the context of the email that was just sent to me and all of the thread's history, but all of the history with that person as well as all of my history with everybody and how I typically respond to different people. That's what I want and if this can do that, I'm very excited. But later seems very far in the future. So I'm not gonna pin my hopes to this device doing that for me. I still wanna build it. You can review the draft, tweak it, and only send a message if you love it. We're also going to offer agents. Agents can take actions on your behalf, doing things exactly the way you would have done it using the context of everything you've seen, said, or heard. 
So you all know I'm very, very bullish on agents. I'm glad to see that they're thinking about this on the roadmap. This is the first feature where I'm thinking this is probably going to eventually be directly competitive with the Rabbit R1 device because the Rabbit R1 device is all about agents today and they perform actions on your behalf. So later, whenever they get to it, it'll be nice to see how they implement agents. We plan to offer a platform so developers can build apps on top of Limitless. And lastly, more hardware. The pendant is just the beginning. In addition to all of this, we plan to ship dozens of features directly inspired by your feedback. Please share and vote on feature requests by visiting feedback.limitless.ai. So that's our roadmap. As promised, let's go back and take a look at the summary that Limitless generated for this announcement. Here it is. There are sections for action items, key updates, priorities and challenges, and much more. Here you can see Limitless captured every time I asked you to take an action, like visiting limitless.ai to try the app. It also pulled out the key point that Limitless is designed to augment human intelligence without replacing it, and make special note of the introduction of consent mode and confidential cloud. That's pretty impressive. If you want to try it for yourself, visit Limitless.ai. That's Limitless, a personalized AI powered by what you've seen, said, or heard. Our vision is to free the human mind from its biological limits. If you believe in the potential for technology to augment our capabilities in ways that were unimaginable until now, we're building for you. So I think it's really cool. And for $99, it's incredibly inexpensive. I bought one. I think it's worth it for $99. I can't wait to try it. Right after I'm done recording this video, I'm going to go install Limitless myself because if this works like they say it does, it is going to be a huge time saver for me. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.